graph the parabola and find the vertex of the equation y equals x minus 1 squared plus 2, we'll first compare this to the standard form of a parabola, which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Here we recall that the vertex is the ordered pair h comma k. And in this case, by comparing this, h is 1 and k is 2. So that means that the vertex right away is the ordered pair 1 comma 2. On our graph, starting at the origin, we'll move 1 to the right and 2 up, pointing out this point here as the ordered pair 1 comma 2 is the vertex. Now we can make a pretty accurate graph by making a table. And in this we'll use five values. The middle value is the vertex. And by doing this, we'll use symmetry to quickly construct a table. So the middle value, when x is 1, the appropriate y value is 2. We'll go 2 units to the right and 2 units to the left to produce our table. So when x equals 2 in our equation, y would look like y equals 2 minus 1 squared plus 2, which would work out to 1 squared plus 2 equals 3, meaning we'll go 2 to the right and 3 units up. When x equals 3, then y would look like 3 minus 1 squared plus 2, meaning 3 minus 1 is 2, squared is 4, plus 2 more would work out to 6. 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units up. Since parabola is symmetrical, uh, that means that when x equals 0 will give us the same y value as when x equals 2, meaning x equals 0, y is ob uh, automatically 3, and when x is negative 1, y is automatically going to work out to 6, as it does when x equals 3. So when x equals 0, y is 3. When x is negative 1, y is 6. So connecting these points produces our parabola. Oops, let's make that a little more accurate. Now we can double check our work by going in and using a graphing calculator, such as the TI-83. On the graphing calculator, we'll first turn it on. And by hitting Y equals, we'll bring up the uh, equation editor. And we'll enter in our equation, parenthesis, X minus 1, parenthesis, squared, plus 2. By hitting graph, we see the exact same parabola as we've graphed here. Well, we can even double check the values if we wish by hitting second and then table. And we'll note that when x equals negative 1, 0, 1, or 2, or 3 works out to the same values we've computed here. So, we've been able to double check and verify that our graph of our parabola with vertex 1, 2 is indeed the correct information for our problem, graph the parabola and find its vertex.